guys, it's Hefi, I'm back here, and this is going to be the second to last, or the penultimate update for the Project Pan Roulette collab that I've been doing with a few other ladies, who I will, of course, leave linked down below. So we finished this on the 1st of November. Um, I'm like a day late putting this up. Um, so the next update will be the finale of this particular project. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so the first item um, that we have is the bronzer, which I've been using, which is the Avon Arabian Glow Bronzing Pearls, which of course still look exactly the same. Go figure. I don't think they're ever going to look any different. I think I could use those for 10 years and they would still look exactly the same. Uh, the oldest blush um, to hit pan on is the Maybelline Wild Blossom. I haven't actually used this at all since I last updated, I don't think, or maybe once. Um, I've been using the other one because um, I wanted something different. The coloured eyeliner is the Rimmel Scandalize in bright blue. I'm wearing it today. It probably needs sharpening. Um, but it doesn't look any different to the last time. I think today is the first time I've actually used it. I've been using other eyeliners. Next we have the Sparkly product, which is the Cargo Lip Gloss in Sahara. Uh, this... I think I've used it, like I used it today, and I used it one other time, so um, it wouldn't have made much movement, plus I've had it lying down, so I now can't tell. I'm good at this. Uh, then we have the Natural Instincts Eye Cream. which I probably haven't used as much as I should have and it doesn't look like it's moved any further down. It probably has, it just, I probably got the line wrong at some point. Um, but yeah, we're, we're moving through it very slowly. This was like up here, it was basically completely full. So, um, and you don't use much when you use eye creams. Then we have the Anika Face Primer. Um, I have no idea how much is left in here. I just keep on using it and it doesn't feel any different. I'm sure if I'd weighed it at the start and weighed it now, I'd actually notice the difference, but I didn't. So, there's that. The product out of your comfort zone is the Kate Viral number 45. Um, I've used this a few times, but it doesn't really look any different. Probably because of the way that I actually use it. But I don't like reapply during the day. It's like I put it on and then it's, that's it. Like I've got it on today underneath something else to darken it up a bit. Uh, the Designer Brands Eye Primer. Again, I have no idea how much is in here. Every time I use it, plenty comes out. Uh, this could be one of those ones that lasts for like a year. Um, favorite product from category of choice was the Grace Cole hand cream. Um, this one I can actually draw a line on. So, pretty much making steady progress on this one. It's obviously not going to be finished in the next month. But considering I started this in another project, like, um, it's, it, there's a lot of it there. There's like a liter of it there. 500 mils, sorry, not a liter, half a liter. Um, nearly 17 fluid ounces, so. And, you know, you just use one pump every time you moisturize your hands. Uh, the NYX HD Finishing Powder. I mainly use this to set underneath my eyes. Um, it doesn't look too different from how it looked last time. Um, it's yeah. A 
it might be a little bit lower. Yeah, I think it is a little tiny bit lower. tiny bit of progress on that. Uh, then the product you aren't sure if you like is the Model Codes More Brow. Um, I've used that every time I've done my brows. Um, I actually do quite like it. It gives a little bit of extra definition and a little bit of extra colour without being too over the top. So I quite like it. was supposed to be favourite perfume. It was just perfume. Um, and I've actually finished it. This is Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder. Thank you, dear. Uh, last time I was up there and I have finished it off. So that is another one down. Yay! which is the Rimmel Scandalize Reloaded. I don't like this. First couple of times I used it, I thought, oh yeah, this is pretty good. Um, no. no, 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 no. Number one, it transfers pretty badly if it gets even the slightest moisture on it. And it, um, i got falsies on today, so it's a bit harder to see, but I am actually wearing it today. It's supposed to, it says volume. Yeah, it gives me volume. It makes them all like thick and clumpy, but doesn't give them any length or anything like that. And uh, yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it, but I kind of feel bad about just like not using it because I haven't been using it for very long. But um, yeah, I don't like it. It's uh, it's it's not good. So I am actually. I'm just going to get rid of it because I really just don't like it at all. I don't like what it does for my eyelashes. So, I can count that one as done as well. Um, yeah. I think I've done about five or six mascaras this year. I get through them really quickly when I really don't like them. <laughs> the next one is um, All These Masks Ceremony, which is a nail polish which I haven't actually touched to be honest. Then we had the, where's it, oh, there it is, um, the, the Gimme product, which was the Lacura Lift Serum in this little thing. It actually took me way longer to use this than I thought it was going to, because it's like two mil, and it took me like a week of like using it every day, like once a day, for me to actually use this bloody thing up. Like how does two mil last that long? It doesn't even make any sense. But yeah, that one is now done. So that is three products for this this month. Um, the product that I'd already hit pan on was the LOL blush. And I have just like made the pan bigger. It's what I'm wearing today underneath a blush topper type thing. But it's nice to see progress on that one. Like, literally every time I put my brush in it, you see more progress. That's nice. Um, the product that I use regularly was the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I don't know if it looks any different. I've used it a few times. I tend to use it first because it um, works quite well to colour correct a little bit underneath my eyes when my bags are, like, really dark. Um, and then I put my Fit Me over the top of it because the colour is a little bit more yellow than I like, quite honestly. Um, and this one is the one that's in light pale. So that's that. And the last one is a product that you wouldn't repurchase, which is because I have three of them, which is the AC Ontour, um, Contour Cook Kit from Astralis. Um, I have been contouring mainly with this one and 
this one here just to warm it up a little bit. I find this look ends up looking a bit like mud on my face. Um, I've used this one here, um, like I used it today underneath the contour just to um, sort of sharpen up the edge of it a little bit. You probably can't even tell, but I thought it looked better. Um, and I've sort of used the highlighter like once or twice, but it's it's not very it's it's kind of not very highlighting. So yeah, that's that's that. Um, so that means I have. Three places. I know a lot of people would just not put anything in when they've got a month, but I'm going to because I'm crazy. So, here's my little box of thingy watsits. So I am going to grab three, well, make a mess, why don't you? Three things out of here. We have one. any of them, I'll just check them out and pick a different one. So the first one is a skincare product. Okay. The <laughs> next one is one I'm not going to do. This is a colourful lip product. I have so many lipsticks in product in going. Let's just pick a different one. Um, the other one I drew was a product that's hyped up on YouTube. Um, okay. And the last one is a product of choice. I don't even know if I've got anything that's hyped up on YouTube. I tend to not buy things that are hyped up, so yeah, I don't think I've got anything. Let me find something else. Make this last month fun. A product you regret buying. No, I don't think I've got one of them either. Okay, third time's the charm. Or is it fourth time? A cruelty free product. Okay, I can do that. Alrighty, I will select and then come back. So, I have picked my products. The first one is the uh, product of choice. I have actually picked the Aveen. O Thermal Extremely Gentle Cleanser Lotion, which I got in a recent uh, Bella Box. So I'm going to try that one out to see what that's like. The skincare product is another one of these little samples from Lacura. This one is the Moisture Serum. It's, it's slightly different to the last one. That was the Lift Serum. This is the Moisture Serum. And the Cruelty Free product, I am going to try out this. Not like I need another black eyeliner in usage, but I'm trying to find one that stays in my bloody waterline. Uh, this one is from Anika in uh, Black Caviar. So it's just a basic black pencil. And Anika is cruelty free. So those are the three items that I am going to be adding in. I will see you at the start of November for the finale of this project. I will leave the others linked down below. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, click the little icon if you want to get notifications. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!